Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Space Expedition. Today I have a new update for you guys. Here's the changelog if you want to see it. Pause the video if you want to read it out loud. There are quite a few optimizations, nothing too special. A few added recipes and stuff, new items. And one of the changes is that the biosuit colors are now officially part of the game. And another change is the beacons you can see behind me. They are regular beacons with a one tall beacon base. So I could go ahead, drop in some iron in here and activate some paste. So I've got a couple of ideas of what to do today. And first I wanted to use the disenchanter to find out what kind of enchantments we have on these swords. So some items, mostly items like, hang on, um, like the fire ant blood, the tungsten ingots, the dusts and stuff. They do glow like enchanted items, but they don't have their enchantments showing up. And you can show them, find out what's on top of it by just throwing on them on the enchanter. And this bone sword has a pretty good unbreaking enchantment. And the bow, well, yeah, definitely nothing too shabby. Definitely better than my current one. So I'll take that. Sadly, no mending, but... For now it will do, especially with the high unbreaking. So the first thing I wanted to do in this episode is to explore this standalone asteroid that's pretty close to the silverfish, silverfish hive over there. And it has a special area, which I will show you in a second, namely this. It's a volcano. And I could just dig down all the way from here to see what's beneath it, but that's slow and I'm not very fond of the idea of digging all the way down. I did that once, took ages and was very dangerous because there was lava everywhere. I do not wish to repeat that experience, but I do know that there is another entrance somewhere at the edge of this asteroid and it should be pretty easy to find and here it is. So lots and lots of these custom areas will have that. You can get entrance from the side of their respective asteroid and some of the entrances are pretty obvious like this one, others not so much but it's definitely worth checking out the areas. So let's see. I can hear someone up here and I don't want him to surprise me so let's double check that he will be able to. Looks pretty safe. I should probably put on my light and night vision goggles. I forgot that last time and YouTube make the, made the video very very dark. I'm so paranoid. He sounds like he's right next to me. God. Oh, hello. Yep, I can definitely see that core of a volcano up ahead. It's highly visible from here. I wonder why this gap is here. Okay. It's still quite a distance. Just a few more blocks and I should be there. Yep, it's definitely opening up. And getting more dangerous. Hey buddy! Uh, how about I dig out a little safe area before we play? That sounds like a good idea, right? Right? And I definitely don't want your drops to fall into the lava. 
That would be a real shame. Uh, let's do this. Yes, yes, yes. I know you want to play. And then worry. We will play in a second. Just give me a little bit more time, right? Okay. That's... The roof's still too low. Here we go. I think I have a punch, but that's probably not the best choice, so... Let's grab the old one instead. It's, it's weaker, but I have enough arrows not to have to worry about the infinity. And I definitely prefer not to punch it back into the lava all the time. guy was relatively easy to deal with and I got a few good drops here but I just need to whoops pick up some fire crystals or one of them anyway fire chorus is always nice and two magma chorus so with that I can craft two neo recyclers for example now I know that there is something else here that I'm very interested in. But this is looking very dangerous, especially since these guys are going to keep spawning. Should probably... I think the spawner was over there, but... Let's block up this lava first, at least where I can. Because that will probably end up just screwing me over. Ow. So I do want to try to make this area a little safer. I'll probably do that by dropping enough magma cubes to deactivate the spawner. It would probably be nice to find it first though. And I would love to... Well, Lock up these first. Because they're, they are spawning everywhere. Come on. Yeah, that's definitely getting really annoying here. Lots of great drops, but right now... I'm more interested in something else. So, ow. Let's heal up a little. And there they are, the spawners. So, how do I do this? It's probably easiest to just dig a little trench around them. Make stuff go in there eventually. So, how about you fall in there? You're setting a good example. Ow! No, no, no. I do not wish to fall into lava. Thank you very much. But you can't go in and play with your friends. I would very much appreciate that. Heat up some more. 
Come on. Yeah, this is good. Should be close to spawn a bit soon. One more goes in. Let's make sure they can't hit me while they're jumping up and down there. Now, these things look a little bit suspicious. That and that. And that's probably because there is something inside them. So let's grab some of these blocks and make sure, preferably, that I can stand somewhere safely without getting buoyed by lava. Here we go. That should be enough. Yeah. And another magma power. And lots of magma key bags, which is pretty nice too. Uh, let's sort these guys a little bit. And pick it up while holding shift. Generally, a good idea when working around magma key cores. Uh, magma blocks. Sorry. So yeah, I haven't seen anything else spawn, so I'm assuming that I'm safe. Doesn't mean that I'm going to let down. Oh, come on. Fuck off this lava. It's bad. I think that was just lava, right? Yeah, I think so. Grab this one too. Ow. And another magma core. Yeah, pretty much the same contents, but definitely not complaining. I am complaining, however, about the lack of inventory space I have. So let's fix that. For the second part of today's episode, I wanted to return to the Mesa. Because there are still at least two things I didn't get around to last time. And it does make a lot of sense to try and go back now before winter starts. So... One thing was the mineshaft that I didn't get to explore properly and I'm stupid and can't find it right now, even though I know that it's somewhere around the tree. Nope, that doesn't look familiar. Ah, I was looking at the wrong tree, of course. It's the big tree, Les. Keep that in mind for next time, please. Yeah, here it is. I found something. Let's try not to anger the creeper. Golden apple. More torches, I'll take those. Seeds, not so interesting for me right now. Frostwalker 2. Yeah. Because, you know, I can enchant my gear so, so, so much. Anyway, I'll take it anyway. Can't hurt. Let's take the bread because I don't know how much food I have left. And there is another chest right over here. Feather falling. Are you kidding me? Bio suit. Can I enchant you please? No? Damn. I'll take the diamonds, the coal, the food, name tag. And yeah, I guess the book too. Now, this chest better have something special to be hidden so well and that's inside this wall. 
I'll take that. Sure. It's better than what I currently have. So... Thank you, hidden chest. And I think I found it. This looks very, very, very suspicious. Especially with how broken up it is. This must be something special as well as hidden as it is, right? Let's kill this guy first. And... Jackpot! Mending fortune. I think this is a very good pickaxe that I'm going to keep around as long as I can. So, the other thing I wanted to do in today's episode is to check out areas like that over there. Diamonds, diamonds, more diamonds. I think there are diamonds over here too, yes. There's practically diamonds everywhere on the other side of that, of this giant asteroid. So what I want to do is find an area where I can mine these diamonds safely without dying to either the void or dangerous mobs. Which is probably gonna be pretty challenging considering that it's very dark and there is going to be mobs literally everywhere. These are creepers, I can deal with those. Those are plenty biters, I can't deal with those. Blocks, 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 blocks! <laughs> Okay, that one blew up. That's okay. I'm fine with that. Good. Can I kill you from here? Yes, I can. I should probably light up this area at least a little bit. Oh, that's a lava salt block. No. 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 No! Damn you. Ah, no. Don't want to waste my fireworks. That's bad. Didn't you know that? Stupid Les. Oh my god. Okay, I know where I'm not going. These diamonds look safe to mine. So let's do that. Maybe. What's that? Oh, that's lava dripping down. I'm actually not so sure I want to mine these diamonds after all. Let's be safe about that. Okay, that's good. Um, That's this one, right? Yeah, so I should be good to mine that one. Yeah, 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 this is good. Okay. Let's try out my brand new pickaxe. Because it has high fortune and all. And I very much like this high fortune. Oops. No, no, no. Okay, these are safe to mine. Those should be safe to mine too. Perfect! Got my first. 18 diamonds, and there are some more waiting for me down here. I would call that a success. More creepers and plenties over there. Be careful of this. No, no. Not that kind of careful, please. This kind of careful. It's a lot safer from what I've heard. Hey. Hello? Ah, here we go. 
Yeah, you can die, I don't care. 25 diamonds. I can see more over there. And over there. And roughly just over there. Let's take those. Cool, cool, cool. So yeah, this place, especially if you get that pickaxe first, is a very, very, very good place to mine some diamonds and basically get set up for the rest of your life. Gotta be very careful here. There might be lava somewhere. Or the void, which would be equally bad. Probably even worse because I can't get my stuff back if I do fall into the void. Okay. Have been safe enough. Over two stacks already. And that was just how much time? Five minutes? I tell you, this place is crazy. So this was quite a productive episode I would say. Two dungeons, one of which we've seen before, but who cares? And I think that's definitely enough for one episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!